Bom dia, good morning everyone. This is an energizing morning practice focused on opening through the chest that we remove stagnation and heaviness out of the body and mind. This is especially good to be practiced through the winter and spring seasons, the kapha season of the year. That, that's where we have a tendency to feel more dull, more lethargic, and we have a hard time getting motivated. So please have a blanket and a block with your mat, and let's begin our practice. Let's start standing Tadasana and let's do one arm together. Bring the palms together in front of the heart, connecting with the inner wisdom within. Exhale fully, inhaling for arm. Releasing the arms. First, the breath of joy is a very energizing practice. We will breathe in three times part of the same breath and exhale through the mouth folding over using the arms. So watch the first time and join me for the next one. So breathing in, 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 out through the mouth. Breathe in, 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 out through the mouth. Last time. Rolling up slowly. Noticing the effects. Now we step to the front edge of your mat. Tadasana again, preparing for sun salutations. Three rounds together, very simple, but very energizing as well. Exhale, palms together, strong legs, lengthening through the crown of the head. Inhale, reach the arms out and up, alongside the ears, gentle back bend. And as you exhale, bend your knees, fold over your legs. Breathing in, hands on the shins, lengthen the spine parallel to the floor. Breathing out, fold over the legs. Take your left foot as far back as you can, lower the back knee down, pelvis, lengthen the spine, another opportunity to open the chest. When you're ready, breathing out, step into downward facing dog, rooting down through the hands, rolling the shoulders back and down, and drawing the heels towards the floor. Do a little paddling of the feet here, waking up the knees, the ankles, the back of the legs. And then come into stillness. As you move the body forward, lower your knees down, chest between the hands, keeping the pelvis up, lower the chin. Pause. Slide forward, lower your pelvis. Without using the hands, lift your head and chest. Opening the chest again. When you breathe out, lower the head, press into the hands, downward facing dog. Look between the hands and take the left foot there. You may need to do this in more than one step. Lower the back knee down, pelvis, lengthen the spine, open the chest. Let's step to the front edge of the mat. Exhale, fold over your legs. Inhale, bend your knees, reach your arms out and up. Lifting the ribcage away from the pelvis. Back bending again. Straight into the second round. Exhale, swan dive. 
Inhale, hands to the shins, lengthen the spine. Exhale, fold over and let's take the right foot back, right knee down, open the chest. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, knees, chest, chin to the floor, elbows tucked, slide forward. No weight on the hands to raise and lift the chest and head. Exhale, lower the head, press into the hands, downward facing dog. Inhale, right foot forward, right left knee comes down, lengthen the spine, open the chest. Step over, step forward, and fold over your legs. Exhale, breathing in, reach out and up, back bending. Last round. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Left leg back. Keep the knee off of the floor this time. If it works for you, put power on your back leg. Right leg down facing dog. Knees, chest, and chin to the floor. Sliding forward. Back into downward facing dog. Left leg forward, back knee off of the floor, put power on that back leg. And as you breathe out, step to the front edge of your mat, folding over your legs. Breathing in, reaching out and up. Reach, lift, make your legs firm. And then let's bend the knees, sitting back in Utkatasana. Chair pose. Have a sense of the inner arts of your lift, of your feet lifting, your inner legs, your pelvic floor lifts, your lower abdomen lifts, and your chest. Exhale, bring the elbows bent and open the chest a little more. Inhale, reach up. And bring the palms together to the heart center. Let's pause here and allow the breath to lengthen and deepen. Release your arms. Turn around and lie on your back. And let's continue with back bending. First, take a breath here in Shavasana. Breathing here. And let's move into Satubandha Sarvangasana, the bridge pose. Bending the knees. Having the feet hip distance apart, arms alongside the body. And let's begin. We'll be moving arms and hips at the same time for a couple times and eventually we will hold the pose. Exhale fully. Inhale, press the feet down. Begin to raise the hips up as well as the arms. Bring the arms over the head until they touch the floor. And as you exhale, lower arms and hips together. Try to synchronize the movement. Breathing in, coming up. Breathing out, coming down. One more time, breathe in, come up. This time, let's leave the arms there. And make sure your thighs are parallel to each other. Press the feet down and away from each, from each other. And bring the arms down. Now, roll to your left side, tuck your right shoulder under. Roll to your right side, tuck your left shoulder under. Perhaps the fingers will interlace under the back. And then, as you come higher up on your shoulders, press the arms down. Coming a little higher, chest towards the chin, opening up. Tailbone towards the knees. And let's hold here with attention on the entire spine and on the opening of the chest. Now 
Make sure you relax your jaw and your tongue. One more cycle of breath. Coming out of the pose, first untuck your shoulders, rolling the spine back to the floor slowly. Bring the arms out to the side. <sighs> Separate the feet and do some windshield wipers motions here. A good treat for the back and hips. Come back to center. Notice the effects. And then roll to your side, come into a tabletop. This is just a transition for us to come into a standing position. And then tuck the toes, lift up the hips and walk the feet towards the hands or the hands towards the feet. Bend your knees, bring the hands to the hip bones, elbows up, lift the lower abdomen, lift up the chest, come up. And then this is a good time to have a block or two close in case you wanna use them. Spread out the legs, toes are slightly in, Finding Tadasana here, making your legs strong, lengthening through the crown of the head. And then let's bring the hands behind, take a hold of the opposite forearms. Inhale, dynamically folding forward, gentle back the bend. Exhale, fold over halfway. Inhale, lengthening and lifting. Exhale, folding over again, halfway. Inhale, lengthen and lift. Exhale, fold over. This time let's go all the way down, releasing the crown of the head down, releasing the arms, either hands on the floor or if you wanna use on your block or blocks, go ahead. And see if you can draw the crown of the head down Shift your body weight forward so the way the hips are the hips are more on top of the heels. And see if you can walk the hands in between the feet or with the blocks if you're using the blocks. Let's hold here for a few breaths. This forward bend is also an inversion here, which is great to continue increasing our lightness in the body, feeling more light and energized. Releasing the jaw, the tongue, allowing the breath to flow freely. Take one more deep cycle of breath. And then lengthening the spine parallel to the floor. Walk the feet in. And go ahead and lie on your back again. Bending the knees. Feet flat on the floor. Notice the effect. Moving into an inversion again, lift up the hips and place the block under the sacrum. When you're ready, raise your legs. And let's hold here for a few breaths. Inversions are very beneficial any time of the year, but especially now. In in encourage circulation. You can close your eyes and tune into the rhythm of your breath.
one final deep breath. Bending the knees, bringing the feet flat on the floor, lift up the hips, release the block, and lower the hips. Concluding with the asana portion with a twist, bend your knees, take a hold of the opposite forearms. Again, moving dynamically first. Exhale, knees to the left, arms to the right. Inhale, center. Exhale to the other side. Don't need to go all the way down. Inhale, center. Exhale to the other side. Inhale, center. Exhale. Now let's go all the way down. Extend your arms out in a T shape. Look over your right hand. Your left hand. Deepen the breath. Breathe in, come back to center and to the other side. Breathe in, come back to center. Release the legs, release the arms in Shavasana. Moving into a deep relaxation, a, a short one here. So let's be here for a minute, allowing the body to be heavy. That's a good time to have your blanket and put it over your hips and torso to create, even though we are practicing to be more energizing and lighter but it's always good to go back in that sense of groundness rest and quietness Bring your attention back to the flow of your breath. Slowly increasing movement in the body. And then rolling over to one side. And slowly coming to a sitting position. Finding a comfortable sitting position. You can use your blanket or your block to sit on to keep the spine elevated, elongated, and the thoughts elevated. Roll your shoulders back, release the hands on the lap. Tune into the flow of your breath.
whenever your mind wanders, bring it back to the freshness of the moment, the flow of your breath. Om Tat Sat Om Shanti 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 Have a wonderful energizing day